Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm 3D and today I'm going to be doing a very specific pick a card reading. Um, so I had this kind of idea to like, I don't know, just sit down and do a reading, but this video is specifically for one single person. There's going to be things in here that um, if you are the person, everything will like resonate. Um, I mean, like I, every single part of this is something that could possibly like you know, you, the person, could recognize and it'd be like an extra sign. Like, down to like, the rings I put on, the earrings I chose, like every, the shirt I have on, like there's something like that's gonna stand out to you. Um, and there are probably gonna be things that resonate with other people because um, we're all just human and we go through similar experiences a lot. Um, but like, this will be a test of discernment for the rest of you too, so like, if it's something like, oh, wow, this sounds like you know, my exact situation, but this one thing doesn't resonate, then it's like not going to be for you and the advice might be correct. I mean, incorrect. Um, so this is for one person. I don't know when you're going to see it. You may see it years from now. You may see it today. Like, but whenever you see it is the perfect time for you to see it. And I'm just going to um, probably do the rest of this video just talking to you, you, the one person. And um, I hope anybody else who watches it likes the video, but I don't know, I just feel like I should be doing this. I'm like, there's a specific message for a specific person at a specific time. And for some reason, I'm the one who needs to be delivering it. So that's that. I already pulled like a shit ton of Oracle and some tarot cards beforehand. I've never had so many cards come out um, when I was like pulling like prep cards for a reading. So like a lot wanted to come out. And so I've been thinking about this for a couple of days. I was like about like today specifically finally sitting down and doing it. And um, at one point, like when I would think about doing this reading, just I didn't really think um, like actively think like, oh, I'm going to be this is going to be like a reading for a man specifically. But at one point I was like, that's how it was like passively in my mind. So, um, yeah, so to <laughs> try to make sure you know that uh you feel like this is your reading um yeah man I'm thinking like anywhere from 30 to 50 like in that range uh it was just so funny because I was thinking kind of like male energy before this and then I put on like my Spotify the upside down playlist where it gives you random songs whether you listen to them or not um they give you random songs and so I just put that on while I pulled these cards and they were like it was music I didn't listen to it was funny um like there was three doors down slip knot brooming the horizon uh it was just like I mean all of them and it wasn't even like a they were all kind of like the same vibe uh it was interesting but the songs real quick in case you know them or you want to listen to them um Believer by three doors down H377 by Slipknot. um I forgot what it was called by brooming the horizon it was like Antivist or something like that um and then Blinded by Fear by At The Gates. And then also when I was scrolling through Pinterest like an hour ago, I saw um, a poem. It's called Fear by Khalil Gibran, if I'm saying that right. And I recognize the name because there's a Starfucker song, I believe, called that. So there's a few songs for you. But it was just interesting. They were all like, I was like, this is so like, not to say, you know, oh, we may listen to that. But at the same, it just felt, it felt like that. Um, very male energy and then especially with like all the cards coming out too I'm like you're somebody who needs a lot of evidence like or clarification like you're not gonna see one card and just be like oh yeah no like I'm gonna have to kind of go into it for uh for you but at the same time like I don't think this should be too long but so many I don't want this to be too long and then so many things came out so I might just we'll see how this goes um I kind of believe however it comes out is gonna be exactly the way that you need to hear it. So let's go. Oh, I'm drinking coffee. And yes, I have creamer in there. Hazelnut creamer. So first I wanted to grab some like little charms or trinkets. I have like these giant tweezers that are perfect for grabbing, but I haven't been able to find them since I moved. So I'm using these, <laughs> my regular tweezers. Cause I have to, I don't want to feel it, but I'm probably gonna with, I should just use my hands actually. It's kind of ridiculous. My fingers are longer than this. Whatever. So I'm just gonna 
close my eyes. Oh, look away. I have the window open right now. Oh, it's July 5th, by the way. When I'm recording this. I don't even know if I dropped anything. I did it. I'm not. They're too small. Okay. That's funny because I'm drinking my Taurus. My, out of my Taurus cup and then this first thing I would draw, get is like this little um glass it was it's like a necklace like um pendant that's what it is um I had a, a Taurus friend gave this to me he made it himself too um man um and then my piece from my car my old car Saturn it was a green Saturn um the license plate had like eagle in it oh look a little bead that stuck there looks like a pearl it's not it's it just a bead but so we have a pendant and a bead so like there's i mean jewelry is important because like when i was putting stuff on and everything like the jewelry i picked seemed important i did like the little slit spark and threw it away and this one's like a bunny oh 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 my god another pendant i forgot where i got this i think this was gifted to me I think this was the one gifted to me by Sagittarius, Sagittarius woman. So we're getting signs are coming out. So Taurus, Sagittarius, Saturn. So that could also be Aquarius or Capricorn. Um, we'll be here. Makes me think of a pearl. It is Cancer season. So these signs could resonate. You could be born on these signs. Um, so that you know, it could be the season that you're watching it during. Um, and I would hate for like some of these signs be spot on and then you not even know your chart <laughs> you're like oh i don't have you know sagittarius anything or i heard gemini too um and then it turns out you like a have a rising you don't even know your birth time anyways this another pen all these pendants that i just thought of um i think it's nobody puts baby in the corner by fall out boy um i think that's the one where he's oh my god what's the lyric I know my phone's right there but um if you know the song you know what i'm talking about but basically it's along the lines like i'm um, like the necklace choke you that's not the lines but um yeah so i'm like you could be being possessive over a woman right now i was when i was pulling the cards earlier I was trying not to see them, but some of them were like, it, they're also Believer by Three Doors Down. Um, it was a little bit like that. So, could be a Sagittarius woman too. Possessiveness. Any other charms? Let's see. Oh, this reading's gonna be long. It's already fucking eight minutes. I need this. I need to find my tweezers. This is not fun it feels lame because like it could be holding on to something i don't know i think we're done here okay. okay and a little charm a little pink butterfly on it yeah so. all right that's that for that could be um possessiveness of her daughter too all right and before how does i get coffee on the bottom of my cup um oh yeah because i was getting children earlier too that was um there was a one of the songs i think it was the bring me the horizon song i saw one word was children and that stood out so um anyways when i was pulling cards from my freaking spirit halloween deck oh it's right there you know these cards have little signs on there um i'm shuffling those cards and a card from a different deck falls out because i do use multiple decks at once so like i mean i understand how it happened but i'm just shuffling and this just fell out i was like what the fuck <laughs> I mean, I haven't used this deck in a while, so which is good because it would have been kind of wonky to be missing a card in the deck. 
but anyways three cups here if you don't know what that is it did come out face up so three cups it, you see there's like three people here celebrating um in a more negative way it could be like you know third party so like if this was about there's like another person so like if you're being possessive over a person and this would be the person that you're worried about right so um i was getting like there's interference specifically um there could be misinformation as well uh but yeah there's some sort of like there's three people here and for this one card to come out it seemed like it was pretty relevant so i saved that one um i have to remember i gotta put it back in my deck <laughs> but and i just noticed there's like two here with like have the yellow dresses and one with a white dress so it could be like you know two men right two women um you know like two people that are, are the same in one way and then the extra person whatever it is so this could be the you know a couple or i don't know or father daughter right so i don't know but let's see here so i was gonna do the tarot first but i'm gonna do the pre-pulled tarot first at the top here now these are the little spare halloween deck <laughs> it's also it they sell at spencer's they just like have the exact same one but there's so so many cards came out so many cards came out okay so first three cards are judgment seven of cups and a devil and they're all kind of like like this you see judgment and the devil here it's fiery and i mean if you know anything about the myths too Then we got the seven of cups here too. Yeah, there's some sort of thing that you're like, um, dude, there's some sort of thing here where like you're seeing it in a more negative light or like you're like the worst parts of you are the ones viewing this situation. And so you're seeing it in like, like if, again, like if this is like possessiveness over a person, it's like you're convinced that like this person's going to go do something you don't want them to do and that you need to prevent, stop them from doing that. And it's definitely like, not, <laughs> there's a reason why I'm the one doing this and I don't know what I'm going to necessarily say, oh, for you to, um. not see this in such a bad way but gosh i hope that you listen because whatever this is you're it's like you your judgment's clouded um like there's some sort of like there's so many possibilities and you're consider considering all these possibilities and none of them are like even like i'm getting shaky like whatever it is you need to calm like that was one thing that came up here you know keep calm and carry on which was the thing that made me be like oh you're at least 30 because if you remember that era with the little crown keep calm and carry on whatever all those memes with it um meme base i have I, for some reason i was being forced to bring up meme base but yeah um yeah and then also i found this i was sitting on it's one of the little things from my charm bowl so it's it reads i'd love you i was sitting on this little heart here so whatever it is you're not viewing the situation with your heart Put that right there. all right it's good. okay yeah this does really seem like um somebody's going into a situation specifically with another person and you don't like it you think it's too quick um i think you're overthinking the whole situation maybe you think that they're underthinking the situation um this is like we have ace of cups eight of wands reversed eight of swords king of cups reversed and then we have strength at the end here so i'm really like whatever this is when i'm seeing strength i'm thinking of more like you know there's like a hungry lion or angry lion like it's just something that's 
fueling like rage or hate in you or possessiveness like there is something here there's something that you the way that you're perceiving something here is fucking you up i think and you could be like really over yet you're in your head about this a lot and i'm not seeing like too much action necessarily right now but you're like at least like this is something that's going in your head like cycling in your head and the more that you sit on it the more you sit on it the like harder your heart's gonna get or like the more beat up it's gonna get and just the um less compassionate you're gonna become and i could see the possibility of you doing something you reacting to the situation in a really negative way and we're here to prevent that <laughs> so i'm gonna keep pulling cards and then hopefully it's just like i don't know you hear something that you need to hear here so maybe i mean like yeah i think when i pull a tarot i'm gonna grab some more no maybe i'll pull the tarot now and i'm gonna get clarification on the situation oh uh, i will do that but I'm gonna do the feeling cards first and again a lot a lot came out the present world goal is like all these feelings Ooh. so just looking at the colors right off the bat to me these don't seem like happy colors necessarily like it's almost kind of uh, but at the same time like I don't know these colors don't appeal like this like set this combo here it, it doesn't appeal to me like it seems it seems like very prim primary like you know we got some our primary colors here right like you could be feeling or acting childish um yeah we got we have black white and then yeah that blue red yellow interesting and then you know more warm tones here and then another dark tone so Let's see what all these are. So the first one is death. So, you know, this could be, this is change happening here. This could be a death relationship. Um, this could be, I mean, whatever you know it to be. Death here, you think, you're thinking about something, something. Transformation could be, I really hope it's not. I don't want to talk about this in such like a casual way, but I feel like that's kind of, we're just, we're just talking. We're just saying, sh knowing that there are feelings here that need to be addressed. That's it. And then we have sadness too, so. Rejection. Mm. Yeah. Which, you know, makes sense for the situation where there's, like, the three cups here. Like, you're feeling rejected by another person. And that, that could be, that's probably, like, you know, with this other situation that's happening. You, you're you probably perceiving it, like, you know, let's go back to, like, if this is a child, right? You see this as, like, which, come on, like, grow up, she's a person. But if we're being serious, like, I understand why. Like, no, I don't. But... I know that's a thing for like fathers to get upset when their daughters like meet a man and follow whatever but for like you you could be perceiving that as like you're losing your little girl or whatever right but um like if you react the way that it seems like you're on the path to reacting um this kind of way you're definitely gonna lose her so just know that like, the way that you're kind of the thinking right now is not helpful to anybody. And that's that's important to know here. I'm not saying that there's not a problem. I'm saying that you are, like, blowing something out of proportion and you're making it worse for yourself. And hopefully not anybody else, but definitely for yourself. Even if it's in just the way you feel alone. Um, yeah, frustration here. I never really noticed this before, but it's like there's a circle and it's a, it's like trying to fit the the toy block into the thing. I never I've seen this card before. I've never thought like actually like obviously that's 
what it is here but there's a circle and you're trying to fit like a freaking rectangle into it and it's not going through like your approach is off or you're approaching the wrong thing like ide ideation too yeah see we have that set up in the cups over here too like you're doing a lot of like just thinking about like the possibilities here and I don't you there are positive possibilities here there's always like positive possibilities and you're not looking at the those I think at all like it's just about fear there's fear again yeah fear with the song and then the poem there's a lot of fear I mean especially with the devil here like there's a lot of fear going on here even this judgment card fear like in this deck Thank you. All right. Fear. Strength. We have the strength again. There's a strength card here. This was one of the cards I did see come out. Um, it did come out reverse, which this deck doesn't do reversals. But still, when I saw it, I'm like, this doesn't seem like a strength in a positive way. This seems like misguided aggression type strength. Like, like I'm going to beat somebody up kind of strength. Like, yeah. And then there's determination. Yeah. And then ghost. Yeah. Um. I'm not going to say it. But. If there's something that you're thinking about. Just know. Here and now. I know that you're thinking it. And it's not going to help. Like it's. Li stuff like that. Like only causes more pain and suffering like there's literally a way to fix a situation that could like have everybody be a little happier but again there's not so right now i haven't seen any advice here there's not necessarily anything coming out saying what you should do i'm saying these things because that's what i think you know but I'll keep a little in card, see what they say. But just like, as a, just a person seeing the situation already, and I know I don't have all the information, but I don't like where your head is at, man. So let's let's keep going though, and then let's try to get you in like feeling feeling better about it. And I'm not trying I'm not trying to like you know make you feel like I don't want you to like click away from the video because you're like oh this bitch, but um. I'm just trying to be real with you because I think you need somebody to do that for you and I don't know how you found this video but I just really hope that you found it find it time isn't real okay and then I'm gonna be pulling these like seed and the sickle deck and this oracle deck they have little um explanations on them but oh my god I need to grab an internet device Would you be mad if your girlfriend went and picked up your iPad to use it to search up plants? Oh, it's a picture of me on there. Okay. Thank you. Oh. Pff. Fuck me. No way. I don't want to lock it. Damn. It's like, I know what, I do know what the path is. <laughs> it's a date. Oh, fuck. fuck me. Okay. So, scratch that. I was gonna like, oh, I'll read them intuitively and then also Google what, you know, the plant itself is and then, you know, but I guess we're doing purely intuitive. So if you see these plants and you know what they are, keep that, like, that's a message for you too. Like, if I say something, you're like, no, that's wrong. Actually, this plant means that or has to do with this. That's your message, okay? So the first one is clemat clematis. Is it like, makes me think clementine, but clearly that's all this. Looks to me from the picture like a water plant, but again, I could be wrong. 
I like, I mean, they put blue. Like, I'm assuming it grows by the water, but. See, there is this one here that, like, looks different than the others, too. Like, this odd one out. Here. Um. I need something. I'm gonna put these up here. Sorry, I was not as organized. I did, I didn't get very organized before. But. I guess I missed a couple things. Oh, and then there's the jasmine too, which I know the story with this. Um, well, I kind of do. It was um, a man. Okay, so a man and wife, and then he went away, and he's like, here's this knife. Basically, if I ever cheat on you or whatever, you can kill me. And then he does end up getting with another woman, but she takes the knife and kills herself. So there's that. And I do notice that the color of the handle matches oh my god this coloring so. and then bluebell the book here with arrows through it this is like okay this feels like that misinformation this feels like um like you have information but it's tainted which and this could just alone be like your opinion is the information and your opinion's tainted or by like all these negative feelings or perceptions um we have strawberry here it's made me i just love like the strawberry full moon which is um sagittarius i believe so the sagittarius again and then clover and there's a four leaf clover right there in the middle there's a few <laughs> There's a few. See, there are a few different ones. So there is, like, you know, hope or possibility for, like, um, a good, like, good luck or positive outcomes here. Um, I think, and I don't remember for sure, but the clover can be, like, a tricky plant, too, um, or have to do with trickiness or deception, um, I would say deception is relevant here, especially with this little plague mask, right? Something that looks bad, but is like here to help, right? Ideally. But yeah, you're perceiving something that's not bad to be bad. All right. Yeah, I want to like get through these cards, actually. Yeah, I want to get through the rest of these little oracle cards here and then we'll pull tarot. All right. So bear, first card here. And then bear is like, um, like, you know, the mother bear, mama bear is like super protective energy. So again, this is a protect, possessive, if the, this possessive, possessiveness we're talking about is from like a place of protection. Like you are ideally trying to protect someone. And then the giraffe. And I don't see this as you are the giraffe who has, who's, you know, looking up from a bird's eye view almost and seeing things. Like you need, a, you do need a different perspective. Like you do need to look at things from this kind of perspective. Like step back and um, look at things from a higher place, right? Because you're like looking at something up here from like the bottom and there's probably probably like a sense of jealousy here too like you know these people at this higher place who have something really good and then you're down here um oh, ace of pentacles here i wasn't gonna draw this but for some reason i wanted to pull it out now i guess so so yeah this could be like yeah you like being from the bottom like you could feel like you're the roots like again like a parent here like you're at the bottom and then you see this tree all the way up here and something where like maybe you feel like that should be you should be that you should be the one that's like growing the fruit right or like um especially since this plant looks like it's powerful right and you probably feel not powerful right now and you might feel like you have to prove the fact that you are like you, that you do have strength and you want to show you yeah you want to show that you are not like this person from this like this weak place coming from the bottom but like 
acting like feeling like you need to prove that you're not that and like coming in with like this weird like really really toxic like macho type energy but like the kind of macho that's gonna get somebody killed like this that it's it does not make you stronger like you will be viewed as weak for the rest of like as long as your memory exists you know and All right, back to these. And then we have the Phoenix here. My kind of death card here too, this transition. Phoenix rising from the ashes. This could be you. This could be the other person who, maybe somebody is trying to get away with you, from you. Like that could be a possibility here. And then if you're like, you probably already think that this person is trying to get away from you. You need to stop that. But ask yourself, why are they trying to get away from me so bad? And don't see it like, oh, well, because they are like this. They are like this. They are like this. Stop it. Like, why is a person in general running away from me? You know? Like, you need to look at yourself here more than these other people. Like, this three cups here. Like this was, I came out upright, but this was an, this is an interference to you. And it's like blocking you with you. Like you're too focused on this situation and you're not actually like, you're not seeing things clearly. And then we have the moth here. Moth is um authenticity. This could, you know, also be you trying to get to this phoenix. This phoenix trying to get away from you and you're chasing the light, right? Because this person... This other person like the situation seems like it's a situation that's really like happy or whatever or good or something that you do really want and you're trying to chase after because you're not getting it like you don't have it and again chasing after like this is not going to help you have it right because if this moth gets too close to that firebird right there so this moth is going to burn up and be dead gone doesn't even matter like yeah and we have Firefly 2. There's a slight here. I do like this card. It's a little dancer. <laughs> yeah, I think, you know, you need to bring some joy into your life here. Like, you need to stop focusing so much on, like, this situation and be like, what can I do that's going to make me happy? Not, what can I do to stop this happiness? But what can I do to, like, create my happiness to help me be happy? Even if it's, like, you just, liked going around and kicking a ball outside as a kid go kick a ball outside for like five minutes you know like with nobody around if you have a backyard or just like even in your living room just like kind of kick one around just let yourself laugh about it you know you need you need more moments like that like just more moments of joy with the fox here it's back to that like when i was thinking about the like the trickiness because what's the other card here and the fly so we have three flying bugs. First of all, moth, firefly, and fly. So that's interesting. The fly was the first animal card to come out as well. So um, you could be the fly here too, trying to get more information. Because I always think like fly on the wall, right? Um, especially with the fox here. Like you're trying to be sneaky and like gain, yeah, gain some sort of information or get something from like this light source here. Um, but you could also be all three of these bugs, like, because what was the other thing with the fly? Because the fly had a more positive message. I think it was about using your resources. Um, yeah, it's like, you need to, you're so good at like trying to trick, you're like, you're already tricking yourself with something. So you like tricking yourself with like this negative perception. Like you need to try maybe for a minute, just like a day, just try tricking yourself out, like, Pretend like this thing isn't happening or pretend like this thing isn't bothering you so much and just do something that has fucking nothing to do with this thing. You need to spend like the, at least the whole day not even thinking about this, not looking at it, just. And again, I don't know what the full situation is. I'm going to pull more cards, but um, in some way, like even if you really feel like this situation does need your full attention, it can live without you for just at least one day the very least just step away from it do nothing that has anything to do with it yeah 
Okay, and I have these Dream Oracle cards. And these could be things you're dreaming about. I don't think I'm going to read too much into these. But, um, yeah. So, we have Castle here, which, you know, right away, a home. Um, you could be the king of the castle here. Um, you could be wishing you're the king of the castle here, thinking you are. But we have the castle here. And then we have body parts here. Aspects of your personal identity included their meaning lies to an association. When you're dreaming about body parts, of course. Um, if you dream of teeth, skin, hair, nails, or other body parts that you shed, this suggests that this this suggests the need to let go and move on from a situation or mindset that is holding you back. Yeah, the mindset, especially when you're viewing something that we have buildings here you know i saw this card in my first thoughts you know this city there's a red sun here too it's because it's like sunset could because it's like the sky is smoky from a fire nearby dude that's literally there was you know the um canadian fires and the smoke going to like new york that could be relevant to you you could um be in new york have been in new york at that time you know, these could be things that you're dreaming about. This is something about these things is relevant. So for you, we have murder here. Could be dreaming about that, thinking about that. Um, if you're the perpetrator, pay attention to who the victim is, as this will represent an uncomfortable aspect of yourself you're denying and need to deal with. A clue about an, an internal conflict, whether this is you know just a dream just a thought or this is something like i mean like a conscious thought too it's still true it's because there's something within yourself you need to look at um whatever the situation is it does have more to do with it doesn't have like those two don't have anything to do with you but like your perception of the situation has everything to do with you like yeah and then we have being chased and then right next to it, we have demons. So I see this as your own demons are chasing you. It's like your bad, your negative thoughts or like your bad habits or just like the really like dark shit that we ultimately hide from other people for the better, you know? Like some things, you know, some demons do need to be locked away. Like, you do need to integrate your shadow. Like, you need to find a way to, like, live. You need to find a way to live with these certain things, these thoughts. Um, but the first step is to, like, stepping away from them and not letting them control you, you know? So, before you can, in before you can integrate, you need to, like, step away. Like, just not run away, but just, like, take a step back, you know? Again, look at things from a higher perspective. A different perspective. Okay, and then we have car out of control or speeding so right away i would say that this you're probably whether your thoughts are running out of control or you're starting to act erratic like um you're something's going too fast <clears throat> um whether it's something's going too fast in your perception or other people would look at you and say that you're acting too quickly on something you know, insects here, insects slash reptiles, we have a snake. Snake is also about transformation, which we've been talking about here. Um, there was all those bugs, all the bug cards over there too. Reptiles and insects carry a strong symbolic charge with largely negative overtones. Um, it's specifically, you know, in dreams. Um, you could also be having pest problems in your home too. If you're having, again, um, for this specific person, you... If you're having pest problems in your home, it could be because of your own negative energy, which I never say anything like that. Um, but like, say you have like a super like nice home, you have never had issues and all of a sudden you're having pest problems at the same time that you're having this other problem. Um, like whether it's infestation, you know, you can get snakes in your house, something. Like something that's suddenly happening, um, it, there is like a energetic thing like it's it's an energy the universe is responding to your energy so it's like you're putting out this negative energy so that like these negative energies are coming to you um so yeah if you're having a pest problem that's you <laughs> um 
changing your like you know stepping out of the mindset you have is actually going to help with this so the more frustrated you get this situation probably the worse it's going to get i'm thinking um so don't let this be like another stressor that adds on and so you probably have stresses just piling on top of you um stressors are t piling on top of you and it just makes this one thing like harder and harder to deal with and you get matter and matter and like you're gonna end up exploding probably so like you need to all these little things are happening they're happening because you have this and you're just attracting more of it um so yeah me taking even a day to step away from that might give you just like a day of peace you know so you would probably need a few days though to get there but um it's possible so again you have to you really do have to make like a big um change here with how you are seeing things and then we also have alien slash robots um desi desire to escape reality this could be this abduction here too so um we're talking about that possessiveness like trying to like keep something for yourself here And then, and think about what happens to the people who talk about UFO stories. Like, they're always fucking traumatized, right? So, just remember that, like, this person you're trying to keep, they're probably, be, they're probably being traumatized by you, by, like, this energy that you're putting out, right? If you're attracting, like, venomous snakes and spiders into your house, like, imagine, like, what you're putting on to other people. Like, and I'm saying, like, again, this is for a specific person. If you're relating and you're like, I'm not doing, like, my energy is not the reason why I have like the deadliest animals right that's this is a specific person this is a lesson in discernment as well so just remember that and then we have musical instruments you could play a musical instrument um dreaming about you could have a dream about it the other person could play musical instruments one of the other parties you could be hearing music um You'd be listening to music a lot, especially when I was I was playing music while I was doing these cards too. So you'd be listening to music a lot, um, and just make sure you're listening to music that like helps relieve you. And it doesn't have to be calm music; it could be loud, angry music. But make sure it's not music that's um, encouraging you to like bask in these bad, negative feelings that are ultimately going to harm you and other people. So just. Just be mindful of what you're listening to or like how you're listening to it because um, that is important and you don't want to just like keep yourself like more things to like pile onto is like the same type of thought process. So and then last one superhero powers and then this car the person's invisible so um, and then we have ghosts over here too so it's like you could feel like you're being forgotten about too um, in this situation and um yeah it's like you know i think you do have like a fair reason to be like a, a you know be in pain about something here whatever it is you know like a natural human reason to feel pain that like anybody in your situation would be like somewhat upset about like i'm not saying you don't have like a you know a decent reason to be upset i think the way you're hype like over exaggerating the badness of it in your head like it's the way they approach it. i'm not saying that you're wrong to be upset i'm saying that the way that you're reacting is not good and then i have a few more cards i kind of don't want to pull these though i'm gonna pull this and then maybe i'll read these at the end but let's pull some tarot and uh we've done all this but i guess let's get um just some cards to kind of describe the information the um situation exactly here so because we now know this is like a third party situation, um, I'm going to do a spread that I picked up from another reader on here, Aphrodite to be exact. Um, it's like you, um, the situation and the other person, right? So I'm going to pull them and I'll show, I'll show you the cards. I don't really have the way. The way my thing is set up isn't, I'll probably here. It's going to be upside down, but if you want to take a quick look see right now can you see maybe a little bit all right let's go so let's get the situation here so let's get my cursor on here
first paragraph of that magician here. It kind of want to come out upside down too. So there's some sort of like, um, you're trying to manipulate a situation here. You're trying to create, whether you're trying to have power over a situation. That's straight off the bat. And now let's get another person card in here. Get third card. Bro, the lover's reversed. Oh my God, this is absolutely like, there's another couple here. That's so what it is. You're trying to have, but they're also coming out for, if it's, again, this could be like, this is probably your perception, but we're gonna pull more cards. I'm gonna, you know, cause I'm, the fact that this is coming out, I'm like, okay, they came out in reverse. So, I mean, I'm gonna pull cards on it to see why, but okay. And then the kind of situation right here, let's see what's going on. Tell me the truth, spirit, two cards. Five of Pentacles, Pentacles and the Two of Wands reversed. I do think this is interesting. So to me, from what I'm seeing now, I'm thinking, okay, it seems like the person who's walking, trying to walk away from you is doing so like actually like with what i was saying earlier with the phoenix card to they they are trying to get away from you yes you're right you are right to think that to feel that um that's a correct uh accusation even i mean you probably told this person you're just trying to get away from me and they might have said no i'm not just trying you know like i it's just this is so. but they are though and i could see why if like the way that you're reacting to this situation is anything like how you reacted to situations in the past you may not have been like a totally nice person and you trying to have control over the situation or like even if you successfully and this situation it is not going to improve your relationship with this person the only way you can you know have this person's like love and trust again is to let them go and even if the situation is a negative situation because with the five of pentacles like it and the two wands of verse like i'm thinking that they're you can see that they're going into a situation that is not the best for them but to them what they're feeling right now is that it is the better option like that's the way that it seems like this person's feeling like like i'll give an example when i was a teenager or like you know 19 i you know moved out of my parents house and i moved in with my then boyfriend's mom and he we're, we were already having problems like you know cheated on me and like um just wasn't a nice person to me and but i moved in with him because it was the better option. Cause I was like, you know, it's not like my family was that bad. My stepdad was a fucking asshole though. Like I it was like, I was trying to get the, out of it away from my parents' relationship most of all, um, which could be happening here. Um, trying to, yeah, I'm like, cause this again, it's seeming like, cause it doesn't seem like a spouse. It's not okay from the very beginning. It was definitely not a spouse. I was like, you know, child or like a partner. There, what, there wasn't like, strong romantic love at all really um like even because he was saying that with like the girlfriend it's, it seemed like more like a possessive thing it's more a possessive thing above all else that's that's what that's what it is um but yeah it, it didn't seem spousal though it, it didn't seem like it was like a con like a commitment between both parties here right if you feel commitment it's because you know like you're a parent you're but whatever anyways I did leave my parents' house and go into a situation that was not as good for me, was not good for me. Um, I went through some shit, but ultimately I was okay. I lived, look at me, I'm doing amazingly. Um, but, and the only reason I don't have like a relationship with my stepdad is because he was a piece of shit and literally went on to like strangle somebody. So don't do that, <laughs> please um 
But that's what that's what it's seeming like here, though, is that somebody is trying to get away from you. And you really need to let them because this is something that like people people do people leave people um, change paths people put themselves in situations that aren't good for them. It's just it's what humans do. And this person might end up hurting themselves in the process. You might know that the person they're with could be like hurting them, but if it's not like a genuine, li genuine like life or death thing, like you don't need to interfere. Whatever this, whatever's happening, I can tell that you don't need to be interfering as much as you are interfering. Because um, regardless, it's the lovers card here. Like there's some sort of like these people have like a like some sort of soul contract to work out here. So this is something that the it's going to happen. Um, so let's get a little more in here. So let's just get any other information we could by magician here or just get another. Okay. Yeah, yeah, swords here. Reverse and then the lovers. Give me more on the lovers, please. Give me more on the lovers. Oh. Star reversed. Death reverse and the ace of swords. <laughs> yeah no i can see like the situation probably doesn't look but what it does seem like a very like strong like there's something to play out here with this situation over here that needs to be played out and i do see you potentially having a certain part in this but i really think that you don't need to be in that part it's like, if something bad was like, fated to happen, um, and say you were the person to do that, that you can change fate, like, you don't need to be the one to do this. Like, say, like, for example, these two people are together, they are meant to come together and break up. Um... This example I'm giving. They're meant to come together. They're meant to go through a terrible breakup, right? Um, and potentially, you could be the reason that they go through this terrible breakup. But if you are the reason for that, it is going to this per uh, one person here that you're trying to protect. Like it is, it will negatively affect your relationship. And like, I think you know, you could be fated to have a strong. Like this person could have a like strong relationship or feelings with you um and that could be good or it could be bad and it's like if you interfere with this it's going to be bad like so whatever this is there's something over here that needs to play out and i think the only part you could have in this if you're interfering is a really really bad part Whatever it is, you just need to step away, like, from it. And, like, if it is something that is, like, really bad, then, like, get somebody who can help correctly. Yeah, it's like you're just fighting with something you really have no control over here. Especially if you have a teammate star. <laughs> like, <clears throat> But we have the Queen of Pentacles here at the bottom. So I'm like, whatever this is, I think this person will come out on top. The good, bad, the ugly, like... Let's get more clarification on this other people. Is this person doing? Yeah, I think this person is acting a little impulsively. Yeah, they're... This person's moving quickly and willing to let go of everything that they have. Because... I feel like they think they're finally going to get what they deserve here. And they might, you know, they might, they might not, whatever it is, they, at the end of the day, I, you know, 
yeah this could also be like um i mean again i don't this this person could be um again example you know you're the parent they're the child they had a not good relationship with you and they meet this other person and the relationship kind of mimics just enough but it's just different enough and you can see that you know this person is a little bit like you and you don't like that um but you know the child is going for this person because it's like because of what they went through and there's something that they need to like that they're going to end up figuring out and whatever whatever it is whatever the advice they need is um you are not going to be the person that they listen to. Like, you are not the one who is to be giving advice in this situation. You're not the person who's to be helping in this situation. The situation exists because of actions you've already done. And <clears throat> so at this point, there's nothing that you can do to genuinely help the situation. And any more interference is just going to make it worse, especially, for example, with a parent-child relationship. Um, yeah, I think you need to be like actually aware of your part in this, not guessing what you're like, just coming up with some other part. Like there is a specific role that you have already played here that you need to like be aware of and not aware of. And like, I'm not telling you that you should be <laughs> sitting in a room and hating yourself for the things that you've done. You need to think about it, acknowledge it, take accountability, and then make sure that you don't ever do those things again. You know, like that's, let's get in here. Any advice for, for you? Yeah, withdraw your energy from that, definitely. The Empress, yeah. Or the Knight of Cups reverse and the Empress. I think you need to focus on something else. Pain man reverse. That's the perspective change we're talking about here. And then the four cups here. Yeah, no, there's like, there's something, I don't know, I feel like you're trying to offer something to a situation when Willie, Willie, really, <laughs> my childhood like speech problems came out. Um, Really, there's something else that you need to like be um, allowing to give to you. Like there's something else for you to be receiving here. And it could just be like, you know, not like wisdom, like actual, like, there's stuff for you to learn here. Um, yeah, the Tower Reverse just came out, like. Well, with the Hierophant here, Tower Reverse, Hierophant, Three Pentacles Reverse, and the Nine of Cups Reverse. So this is saying something, something about a marriage. Um, maybe you do have a marriage and you're not focusing on this marriage right now because you're too focused on what's going on with the child. Um, it's putting a strain on that. Um... It could maybe at one point you had a marriage that you no longer have um and you're still thinking about that and that's influencing your feelings towards this situation you know especially if like one woman left you another woman's here trying to leave you like that's triggering yeah so um but you need to realize that the situations are different and you know again your role that you've played in these situations um yeah, I think not acknowledging your part is just going to keep you in the state of unhappiness. Like, you need to get real with yourself. Let's see what these remaining cards are here. I do feel like pulling them. Page of Cups reverse here. Temperance. The Sun. Another Phoenix card. You need to have your own transformation. Four of Pentacles here. Nine of Pentacles reverse. Queens. Yeah, I think you just, like, really need to let go. Again, we have this Sagittarius here, Temperance. Like, I'm, it's got, like, a woman. Like, I'm really thinking that. Like, 
this, you know, strong, Sagittarius is strong in a woman here for sure. Um, there is, there is a Sag woman, whether it's sun, moon, rising, whatever, chart ruler. But, um, yeah, there's a, like something that, you know, the situation you need to give up on. She needs to be like, have this little queen of wands moment, like be able to become a queen. It's like, you're trying to keep a princess trapped and it's like, she's never gonna become a queen. She needs to like escape and become a queen. And meanwhile, you over here need to have your own personal transformation as well. Um, and I think it is possible for everybody to end up happy in these situations. Um, but what you do next is going to kind of decide everything, I guess. Um, and there, you know, there's a possibility that, you know, you're wanting to do something that you could literally, that literally can't be changed. You can never come back from, you know? So even if you just need to take more time to like, I think that you really need to remove yourself from the situation and there's something else here that you need to focus on whether it's you know another relationship you have or the you know the relationship you have with yourself this is a really long reading and i'm so sorry but i hope you liked it i mean i don't know if it's much blank but like i hope that it's beneficial for you and i really hope that like you hear everything that happened here and it I hope it helps I really hope it helps I hope that it, you know you, you decide to do the right thing here and it may not feel good at first you know but um well let's see, let's see. yeah nine pentacles re reversed i don't think you're gonna you're not gonna see the results right away right especially if you step back from the situation especially if this is like a kid who may decide to not talk to you for like a year or so um it's not something that's gonna last forever so just let it it needs to just happen and again as long as like you take care of yourself then and you you know work hard to become you know the best man you can be um then that's one way you can know that the situation will improve. But just staying the same and just doing things the way you've always have, or just like the, doing things because you know that people will always do things the way that they always have. Like you need to have to like some faith in other people, some trust in other people here. Any other advice for this person? The chariot here. <laughs> like that's song I gotta go my own way page of wants here yeah literally I gotta go my own way that's what this person is saying what is that song I gotta go my own way is that um the one from high school musical <laughs> yeah high school musical 2 I believe Gabriella sings it and that was her leaving a relationship you know so this person is like saying, like, I gotta go my own way here. And you gotta let them go. Anything else? Anything else? Yeah. Justice and the Page of Pentacles. And then we have the Eight of Cups here. I feel like if you let, again, if you let this person go, it's not that they won't ever come back again. You know, it's like they just need to go do something new. You need to do something new. These are. There are things that are happening for a reason right now. There's like cycles of fate turning and, um, you know, there are, you know, the things that are happening are things that need to happen and you need to let happen. You need to allow them to happen and you need to get back and focus on yourself here. Um, you know, focus on, like I said, becoming a better man. I think that's going to be, I think that should be a key theme for, like, a key theme for you right now. Something that you should be thinking about a lot. Like, how can I, you know, be the best, like, genuinely, be the best I can be with, with mind and heart, you know? Like, not just doing things solely the way that you think is logical, but doing things, you know, with, a, like, compassion, too. Like, how can I show that I love these people in a way that makes them feel loved? You know, 
Like, oh, I love this person, so I'm gonna go kill a bunch of people for them. Like, is that making them feel loved, though? Yeah. Change the way you see things. Again, it might take some time, but like, maybe after this reading, turn it off and just take like a few days away from, like, you know, if it's a kid, like, don't text them for a few days or something. Don't call them. Don't ask them what they're doing. Like, just leave them alone for a little while, you know? Like, let them, let them do their own thing here. You have to have trust that people, you know. And yeah, sometimes you're going to see the people you love get hurt, you know? And it's like, nobody wants that, right? Nobody wants that. But <laughs> shit happens. Life happens. Life happens, you know? And it would be extremely unfair to stop somebody from experiencing life because you think that the way they're going about it is wrong for them, you know? And again, you may be right, but you have to let people do their own thing sometimes. Especially when you know they're not going to listen to you and you can't force people to listen to you. You can tell them everything that you feel like they need to hear and then hope for the best, you know? But again, I don't think that you're one to be giving advice right here. So leave that to other people and worry about yourself for a minute. Don't get too worked up. Don't let, um, try not to um, indulge in escapism right now too, because that's um, also not going to help, especially if you're a drinker, um, especially if you drink alcohol, um, drugs too, but I feel like you're probably more likely to alcohol kind of guy. Um, don't, don't like, you might need to like a intentionally limit yourself right now to make sure that you're not drinking a bottle a night you know um just so you can not think about the situation that's not what i'm saying i'm not saying to escape the situation i'm saying to take some time take some time yeah take some time away from it but you're not like running from it and planning to come back to it here we're planning on like <sighs> taking some time to like see where you need to heal you have a lot of things to work on that have nothing to do with the situation too that you could be focusing on. Whether that's, you know, projects that you have or like you got some, you know, mental health stuff going on that you need to like acknowledge or stuff happened to you in your childhood that maybe it's time to process. Like this is a, this is a time, a transformative time, you know, for you and this other person. So transform. Okay. Um, I hope you have a good day. I hope this situation works out well. Again, it may take some time to feel satisfied with the results of um, everything here. But if you just take a step back and avoid interfering anymore, um, it's going to increase the likelihood of this of you uh, feeling good about this in the future. So, all right. Well, have a good day. Um, yeah, I hope anybody who this doesn't didn't fully resonate with didn't have to stick around too long. But and I'll I'm I'm aware this is gonna get to you whenever it gets to you exactly when it needs to get to you. So just remember that. Um, yeah, that's it. I hope everybody has a good day and fucking whatever. Happy cancer season. Bye.